What is the most popular programming language? Depending on who you ask, you're going to get a different answer. I thought I'd make this video because I think that if you're starting out and you want to get into programming and you don't know where to start, maybe it's a logical place to say what's the most popular programming language. And depending on who you ask, you're going to get probably a totally wrong answer. So the first one I want to talk about is TOB. They supposedly build this list based on search traffic. Um, so they're saying they're using Google, Bing, Yahoo, Wikipedia, Amazon, YouTube, and Baidu. Um, they're saying that, that based on this, Java is the most popular programming language, followed by C, and then Python. Um, to me, this is kind of unbelievable. Just especially when you consult different uh, rankings in other places. They have JavaScript all the way down at 2.25%. And other things they have on here are pretty interesting too. So let's see if there's any other weird things here. Groovy, that's actually just a dialect of Java. Um, it runs on the JVM basically. Uh, C Sharp and Visual Basic .NET are both .NET um, framework programming languages. So there's some there's a little bit of overlap here as well. Visual Basic that's different from Visual Basic .NET, but it's still you know Microsoft Visual Basic. Um, all right, so this is TOB. Totally ranks Java and C very high. Here's another one called the PyPL popularity of programming language list. This list is based on tutorial searches. So here, and this is also kind of crazy, they rank Python the highest by far, like beyond by far. Um, and you see stuff that doesn't even appear in the TOB rankings. So you see TypeScript doesn't even appear there. TypeScript is based on JavaScript. It, ju it just compiles down to JavaScript, just kind of like the way Babel um, compiles React or any other kind of thing that uses JavaScript into, into stuff that will actually run in a browser, more like the new ECMAScript standards and things that aren't supported by all browsers. Um, that's the kind of stuff like the way TypeScript is built. So here they've got JavaScript third. C doesn't even appear on this list. Um, so I would say TOB is just completely inconsistent with this list. This list seems a little bit more realistic, but also the fact that Python is by far the largest seems kind of weird to me. All right, let's keep moving on. We have another one that is IEE Spectrum. Um, this They say this is synthesized from Google search so seems like it should be similar to the the TOB. Um, number one is C, number two is Java, number three is Python. Now I don't really know that many C programmers. I know there are many C programmers because a lot of embedded devices use that, but somehow I doubt it's number one. Um, Java, it's realistic that Java is pretty high up on the list, but also kind of doubtful that it's number number two. Um, let's see what else in here. JavaScript is way down here. PHP is actually above JavaScript. See, that this just seems totally crazy. Um, all right, let's check this one out. This is kind of a ranking of the PYPL index broken down in different countries. And it's still, it's not very different between countries, as you can see here. It's just completely, I don't know. It's consistent at least, but it, it just doesn't seem right to me. Here is a, it is a different one called Redmonk. Um, what they're doing is they are basing this off of GitHub repositories. This seems a little bit more realistic, although I, I would have to say it makes sense that JavaScript is number one here, because if you think about the JavaScript ecosystem, there's a habit of making lots and lots of repos and lots and lots of um, small libraries that do small things. You've probably heard of 
left pad, which was a big fiasco in NPM. NPM is JavaScript's package manager, and um, all it did was it it padded um, you know some kind of characters to the left side of a string. So, for example, you'd put zeros in front of of a number or something, right? Um, and they they had their own library for this, so you'd actually install this library, and all it did was do was pad zeros or pad whatever you want on it, and it's really like a one liner almost. I mean, I think it was probably five lines of code, and somebody removed it from the npm repository one day, and it broke like thousands of projects. So, JavaScript has this tendency to have lots and lots of small libraries that are interlinked and intermingled, um, but so it's not surprising that's number one Java Python PHP so this is where it starts to diverge right like you have these traditional ones where you've got Java Python and C and then if you look at this C is not anywhere near the top whereas JavaScript is not near the top this seems a lot more realistic just based on what you see in terms of job searches like if you try to find C jobs and you look on your um, you know, Indeed or whatever, LinkedIn or something, um, Dice, you're not going to find many. You're going to find tons of JavaScript jobs, tons of Java jobs. So, like, the fact that they're ranking this number two, it just doesn't make a lot of sense. Same with Python. There actually aren't a lot of Python jobs, or there never used to be. There's a few more now. Um, back when I first started programming, I almost exclusively tried to do Python and I could never find a job doing Python, so I just ended up doing Java and JavaScript. So this one, more realistic, because this is what people are actually using, not what they're searching on. Now, searching could indicate, it, it could be because of school, you know, it could be totally different stuff. So same with um, tutorials, right? Like maybe people are searching for Python tutorials so much because there are a lot of Python courses or Python classes they're taking in school. So that's probably not realistic compared to what's actually being used out in the real world in the industry. Not what people are really building things in. Um, let's go to the one I think is the best because these are kind of passive things where they're trying to infer what are the top languages people are using. Let's go to the Stack Overflow survey because this is totally different. This is people actually telling them what they use the most and number one is JavaScript. This is not surprising. If you think about it, JavaScript has to be number one because it's the centerpiece on every web page that's getting loaded. Like no matter what you're doing on the back end, you could be doing Java on the back end, you could be doing Ruby, you could be doing Python, doesn't matter. On the front end, you have to use JavaScript. Now you might not write it in JavaScript, you might write it in TypeScript, but at some point you're compiling it to JavaScript and it's running. So number two is HTML, not surprising. Number three, CSS. And this is interesting. They don't even have these as options on here. I mean, HTML is arguably not a programming language in the same way you would think about Java as a programming language. Same with CSS. But in terms of languages you need to know to actually build things, these are here. They're legit. SQL, also interesting that they rank this on the... Um, yeah, this is programming, scripting, and markup languages. I guess they mean database languages as well, too. So interesting that SQL's on here. I think this PyPL one had another had a top 10 database rank. And this one's also crazy to me to have Oracle number one. I don't know anybody that uses Oracle for anything. And I mean, it may be because I, don't, I haven't worked in a Fortune 500. Well, I guess I do work for a Fortune 500 now. But um, I haven't worked... Um, maybe on the legacy side of a Fortune 500 for a very long time. And um, I don't see anybody using Oracle. I, haven't, I don't think I've worked with anybody using Oracle in a very long time. MySQL is pretty popular still. SQL Server seems somewhat popular. Postgres seems very popular. Mongo still seems popular. The Oracle just seems unbelievable to me. Um, let's go back, let's go back. Stack Overflow. So Java, Bash, Shell, that's, yeah, that's probably more realistic too. Like, I, that's kind of interesting. You don't see Bash on here. Um, almost everybody's writing Bash scripts all the time. I mean, even 
if you're primarily programming JavaScript, you've probably got bash scripts in your build system. So this seems a lot more realistic. And I think that the results are because they're actually asking people what they're using rather than trying to like passively pick this up from search, which is pretty much a different thing. So I was gonna look at Google Trends too. And this is where this is where you have a problem with JavaScript. So if you tell somebody you're actually using JavaScript and then you look at search traffic, it's a totally different thing. The issue with JavaScript is that JavaScript, it's it's a whole bunch of different things, right? If somebody's doing React, they're doing JavaScript. If somebody's doing TypeScript, they're doing JavaScript. If somebody's doing Angular, if somebody's doing React Native, Vue, Ember, jQuery, any of that stuff, they're doing JavaScript. So the fact that they're not typing JavaScript in when they're searching it, they're probably typing React. Like, how do I do this in React? How do I do this in Angular? Um, because JavaScript is so abstracted and so splintered, you're not going to pick it up in search traffic. But I guarantee you, if you ask somebody, the majority of people are doing JavaScript. So um, if you're just getting into programming, I think the answer is you need to learn JavaScript, right? Like you should probably learn a good server side language, maybe Java or Python or something like that. But you have to learn JavaScript. Like if you don't, that's that's the majority of the software development that's going on. Like you have to make a front end for the website you're building or whatever it is you're building. Um, same with recruiters. Like if you're a recruiter and you need to understand the job market and you want to understand things, understand JavaScript, understand all the JavaScript frameworks and all that, and you're going to understand the job market, I think. So another thing I was going to show was salary by developer type. And um, this is a thing, a lot of times JavaScript was associated with front-end developers. I'm actually a back-end developer, and I would say majority of the time I'm using JavaScript. So the server-side version of JavaScript is called Node. You don't see that anywhere in any of this stuff, but I guarantee you tons and tons of people are using Node, right? It just shows up as JavaScript, but it's there. Um, and then people that are doing mobile, they're doing React Native, that's JavaScript, or they're doing Ionic, that's JavaScript. Um, desktop or enterprise application developer, well, a lot of people are using Electron, which is just kind of like a Chrome runtime packaged into a desktop application, that's JavaScript too. Um, full stack developer, possibly, yeah, you can do the in JavaScript throughout the entire stack. Uh, front end developer, yeah, typically you have to do JavaScript. I mean, I don't know what else you'd be doing. So you can see like it just runs the gamut of everything in here by of the developer types. Um, I was going to show a couple other things like React versus Angular, just tons of search traffic. You could probably put JavaScript in here. It might be interesting just to see like how much compared. Yeah, just see how much search traffic react gets just term just compared to the term javascript so it's like they're leaving off an enormous um, thing here if it's like almost the size of that so they're just not ranking this correctly at all and um finally there's there's not huge other dialects like typescript there there's more beyond this um but the the takeaway here is i would look at this stack overflow ranking if you're going to look at anything and maybe the Red Monk ranking, I think this is okay, but definitely this to see what people are actually using. And I wouldn't believe this at all. Like, I think this is completely wrong. This is just, this seems just out of left field completely. I don't even, I've, I've never heard of anybody using Delphi or Object Pascal in production code in this day and age ever, you know? <laughs> so I think that um, if you're gonna look at this stuff, check here see what they're doing here and um that's that's the real deal of what's actually being used out in the industry and um i think that would probably correspond pretty close to job postings so that's it that was just a quick video just kind of showing you what's actually popular probably and what's not and um i'm doing a um, course to teach recruiters some technical topics I made a website, it's over at iteachrecruiters.com. You can um, sign up for that. 
once I get enough people signed up, I'll probably start um, start to try to build out the course more and launch it. But yeah, if you're interested in that, if you're a recruiter and you want to know more about tech topics and um, you want some uh, more detailed information that's just geared towards you, yeah, go check that out. Thanks for watching, guys.